Shop, we're Dre, and uh, we make music for people to get buck wild to. Let's go. I got into music uh, playing drums first, and I was obsessed with thrash metal and uh, in high school. And so that's why I first got interested in like, kind of tried to learn how to play music. I got into music through Blink-182, that's my favorite band. Fast Barker's probably play drums. I did marching band and band throughout all school, and yeah, just, just fell in love with punk and hardcore and metal and indie and pop punk and everything. My cousin Sarah, she's the one who gave me my first guitar. Um, as far as like musicians, like Ace Frehley was one of the first guitars. So I was like, damn, I, I want to do that. Getting into music, I think the first things that really inspired me was like the music I heard from skateboarding and skateboarding videos and just being at the skate park. Bands like Turnstile, bands like Scowl, they get me stoked to want to be still doing this and still running, you know? I'm just firing off Dream Tour line off. Gotta be Turnstile, no doubt. It would be a mixed bill, for sure. I feel like yeah, crazy sure, mixed yeah. bill. Anthrax and stuff. A lot of like the bigger metal stuff, a lot of the bigger hip hop stuff. I would love to, in some crazy alternate universe, open for Metallica. I think that'd be pretty insane. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> Let's go. James, you here? Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. What's up, Lars? Yeah. Show me some stuff. The Suicide Boys, like what they've been doing, you know, bringing like rock bands, you know, on their tours. Exactly like the lane. That gets me stoked. There's new people finding stuff and getting excited. Yeah, the average day starts out, you usually like wake up like, dude, you good? You need, co you need coffee? Coffee? All right, let's get coffee. Yeah. Making obnoxious noises and sounds and trying to jump on each other. Oh. Or, or if you're hearing Taco Bell, please feed the beat. Let's go. <laughs> to kind of get to the show and, and just kind of like work mode for a sec. Same with some of the kids that are coming to the show, they're excited. That's a pretty average day. Yeah. I hope the audience takes away, uh, not just from the performance, but just what the performance means is like, you can do this too. While it seems like a crazy pipe dream, it's more, it is more possible and that goes with a lot of things in life. All this stuff is more possible than I think we sometimes allow ourselves to believe. And that's where the, the album title you know, comes from, is Living Proof. This band, when we were on stage, that is Living Proof. And now you should go and live it. And go, go prove it to yourself and then go prove all your naysayers wrong. I think an achievement I want to accomplish is just to just to keep going and just keep having fun with my friends, playing music. I guess just for me personally, it's like, I want to put on for young guitarists and stuff, make kids want to play guitar, so, yeah. Wherever you're at, chances are we're going not too far. Actually, you can catch us at any of these dates right here. And then, <laughs> then put it, boom, you, US here. For anywhere you're at, chances are we're there. And if we're not, if we're not there, message us and we'll book a show that we're going to come out there. Let's go. Mic check, one, two, one, two.